this set. We are in a tie match at the trough. Double Ooh. gen pop to avoid the deadlock. Ow. They do go down. There is a haste status effect. You gotta be careful here. The hatch is going to spawn momentarily. Deadheart could get them the distance to get it too. Smart Ooh, shot. Really smart play oh, on the ace. Oh shot. my god, he's getting shot through the window. It's no longer have distortion, and they are gonna teleport here. I think they get there in time. <gasps> yes! Oh, they the it. Yes! Oh, 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 this is that is disappointing. This is be a four man out because yeah but they will be able to oh, block yeah. this <laughs> yo getting caught on that ace coming with the oh body block oh they oh. were here Welcome back, everybody, to Champions of the Fog. I'm your host, Little Rugard, and joining me today is none other than Jukebox Hero themselves. Are you ready for the new meta? I have been waiting way too long for this, so yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Absolutely. I We were talking about before this, this game even started. I've been geeking out for weeks. It feels surreal that we're finally here with the massive perk rework, and obviously, new ban list. Make sure to check in the Discord. There are some changes to the restrictions in the game, but... Honestly, not as many as I was expecting. Kind uh, of, uh... Yeah, I think it was a. I think everything they did was pretty healthy. I would say. Agreed, agreed. But with that said, we are here for Chronicles versus. How did we get here? I believe it's gonna be Chronicles killing first for us here in just a little bit. Let me check. I actually, I actually didn't even see what we're playing today. I just, I saw those Chronicles and how did we get here? I was like, okay, but what about those new perks? But we're gonna have a Death right. Slinger right off the bat. Ooh. Yeah, not something I was expecting. Uh, uh, yeah. How do you feel about Deathslinger after this, the uh, the rework? Do you think there's anything that helps I, him out? Yeah, I think Deathslinger got an insanely noticeable buff, really? shadow buff this patch. Um, with the faster time to clean your weapon and the less distance they get from getting hit, that gives you so much more time to reload and get another shot in before they even make so much distance. So, I think his shadow buff hmm. is just like insane this patch. I think Deathslinger had has has gone up a tier at least this. This will be interesting. Really? Mm, absolutely. I mean, obviously, if you're if you're good on the killer, obviously you can't just be like freebies. Oh, yeah. But no, no, he's still a very tricky killer to play, in my opinion. Absolutely. But with that said, loading it on the suffocation pit, a good a good little crop zone. Holy cow! Wait, hold on. There's no middle gen there. Is that a four gen on the uh, the mine side? Uh, it would appear. Yeah, looks like it. Well, lucky RNG there. Also. The new tile sets that they put on these maps. The the six maze tiles, I think they called it. Mm -hmm. Have you uh, have you been enjoying the new uh, the new jungle gyms? Oh, big time! I think there's a lot of uh, different things you can do on them, especially versus like I mean, a variety of killers are gonna run them in different ways. So I think it's been a, a nice change to these maps that have been the same for so long. That's a pretty good uh, point. Also, Ooh. good shot so far. Mm -hmm. Getting two really nice shots. Two survivors are in the mending position. However, going to be sticking to this Nia potentially. I agree with the choice of uh, tagging a couple of survivors, especially on a three gen map like this. You're really going to force them to reset on one side of the map before they can pressure your gen safely because being injured in that three gen is too risky to, to have. And oh, just barely missing the <laughs> so shot to the crease here. So close. We do see the Warden Keys and the Rusted Chains. Oh, they do get the Ooh. shot the second time, though. Very, very nice shot from Zet here. Absolutely. Wonderfully done. So the one thing I have noticed, and I told Guilds about this too, just as an FYI, uh, another one of those bugs that we see with a patch like this, the new tile sets, uh, there are fountains that are placed in some of those new tiles that Plague can't drink from. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I found that out the hard way. I love the new tiles, uh, don't get me wrong. I hope they keep the tiles. They just need to fix, fix the collision a little bit. Again, a lot of changes for a patch. Yeah, there, I mean, there's definitely going to be things that they have to adjust as things as it goes on. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I think they, they have an insanely good start with uh, with the patch that they've created here. A generator popping for that chase was uh, is very important for the survivors here. It looks like we're be finding a couple of them out in the open here. Get another hit, and that's an awfully fast weapon swing, I would say. That is, that is indeed, and for anyone noticing as well, 
you can hear that that little that little telltale token tick up it is in fact save the best for last which i've heard a lot of people complaining that this perk should have got a like a small nerf with the buff to the the base reload time or the base uh was it reload time what do you call that like cleaning i don't know i always call it like a weapon clean or i don't know cool, yeah. weapon, weapon cooldown weapon cooldown that's yeah uh yeah i mean i i'm you know you know me i'm i'm always up for <laughs> for buffing killers and making killers stronger in this game but i do have to side with uh with just the health of the game and say yeah i think save should have been toned down a bit because uh, when that thing hits eight stacks it gets a little bit ridiculous isn't it with eight stacks 1.62 or one yeah, i think it's like 1.62 seconds for cooldown which is effectively half the cooldown at this point yeah it's 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 honestly ridiculous it is it is pretty sizable especially like on the 115 killer specifically it is insanely fast servers do get the unhook here though we see one over in the corner next to the gym but there's three survivors over here wow yeah catching all three survivors here on the uh main side of the map where the five gen or sorry the four gen that just recently got broken but there's still a very effective three gen up here true and with main building being up here um you know th this is just a good side to hold because of uh just holding the choke and getting <laughs> if you can get hooks really deep into the corners here it's really really hard to get the save the the survivors on how to get here did a very very good job stealthing over and grabbing that bullet without noticing indeed Balance landing's not going to be as effective here. And one of these two survivors going down, possibly both of them with the save the best for last stacks. Yeah, that is that is an insane weapon cooldown already. Getting the shot through the Z wall. And there goes the Fang. This is pretty devastating. Yeah, save the best for last. Pretty great. Deathslinger also, to be fair, Deathslinger's had some really good shots so far as well. Oh, yeah, his shots have been on point. Only missing a couple, and the ones that, been hit, he, that he's been hitting have been pretty impressive. And only two generators popping for the amount of stages and the amount of pressure that he has right now. I mean, if he can keep this up, I could see a potential for a 4K. Very true. Clyde does get picked up. Unbreakable, but it's immediately going to get slapped. Soul Guard? That looks like Soul Guard to me. Okay, now I can understand the unbreakable play as a... Uh, you have to wait out the uh, the five seconds here. Yeah, they didn't wait out the five seconds for that uh, that base kit borrow time. But probably doesn't matter. Look how fast those stonks add up. Yeah, looks like finding the obsession here. We'll have to see whether uh, he decides to take the hit or not versus this. Just barely missing the shot. Looks like we're dropping chase. I'm, I'm guessing he's going to be looking for one of the injured survivors in the middle area here. Probably. I don't know if they saw that. I, I think there was a survivor on the right next to that gen. Yeah, Fang Min is over here. Oh. Ooh. Really close shots here from this Death Slinger. No, wait, no, he is here as well. I'm going to opt to kick the gen. Again, that 10% off the gen kicking speed is beautiful. Oh my goodness, what a shot over the collar. Is this... Death hook for Feng Min? She has oh, decisive She up. had DS. Let's see if she can make any distance with it. He was not reloaded before picking up, meaning that she's going to get a bit more dis distance. And if he doesn't land the shot, she could actually oh. potentially get away from this. You're right. I think she is going to be able to get away. Yeah, they're dropping Chase, it seems like. Maybe going for Nia? No? I think they want this rubber down. Oh, my oh. word. That Beautiful was an snipe. incredible shot. Beautiful snipe there, and I think, yeah, I think the survivors, no, it's, they're not death hook, never mind. They do finish the third gen, however. Mm -hmm. And I think based on where the Obsession's arena was back on that uh, mine side, I think there should be a gen popping over there relatively soon. Yeah, and if they do pop a gen on the side of the map, that will be no more three gen to hold, which is where Deathslinger becomes a little bit weaker. True, true. I was wondering if, honestly, I was just wondering if they were going to go for that shot right under the floorboards, but, uh, not going for a cheeky snipe on the Zarina there is going to be taking it very safe and effective. Oh, yes, definitely. Making sure to deny as many hits as possible, especially when you're topside like this. You don't want to get caught out on main side with, uh, you know, getting injured versus however many stacks to the best for last you might have is uh, pretty dangerous and looks like he's going to be getting this hit. And since yep. Zarina's no longer obsession anymore, he can just freely hit this for no uh, repercussions. No and yeah, it's just go go crazy for it. This that will be another is fresh hook, point. too. Very good point. Fourth gen going down as the they know the last gen, but it is a three gen they have to uh, deal with. And as you said, if you hook back in this corner, oh, so close. However, they will get the hit after all. First hook coming in for Zarina. Are they going to go back? They're not going to go back for that corner hook. They're just going to opt for center hook. 
Do you think that's a, a bit of a mistake, or do you think that's going to work out? Uh, I think there's downsides and upsides to hooking here, especially if you catch a survivor right here trying to get right oh, for it word. and getting an insanely <laughs> quick two-tap. And I'm pretty sure, uh, well, it doesn't matter who has it, the Unbreakable is used up, so you could just leave this on the ground and spotting another survivor over on this side. This is pretty devastating for our survivors. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. Yeah, I was about to say, oh wait, Deliverance! On the Zarina, they do miss a shot on the knee. However, Claudia is still back here to get hooked. Okay, good deliverance play is going to reset the balance a little bit here, but... Yeah, relieving some of that pressure. Yeah, unless they snuck a survivor back here, they still have to deal with this 3-gen, and that gen is regressing as we speak here. Yeah, and I'm sure the survivors are aware of now the overcharge that has in play as they've True. been touching their gens and getting that skill check, so these gens have been regressing up to 200% faster. Yeah, specifically that one right there next to the mine. How are... Oh... They did sneak a survivor back here, and I don't know if you saw. Uh, do you notice that survivors have this like little blue aura ball over their head sometimes? At a distance? I don't, I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I kind of saw it back there on the survivor. It might be a spectator bug. Oh, Neo with the slow be. balls. Oh, no. Oh, man. Look at that save the best for last value, though. They don't even need to shoot. They can just yeah. follow it up. I mean, even as a 110 killer, you're going to catch up really quickly with that amount of stacks. And with DS being out of play, they can just tunnel out this Claudette. And Claudette is stuck here and cannot leave. And with the gun in hand completely reloaded, I don't see a way for Claudette to get out of this. Yeah, I think they're waiting out the bar time as a... Uh, yeah, that is Ooh. the extra bar of time. So they do have deliverance. But yeah, how much distance can you make? He's Not reloaded. Much. Oh, and there man. Is. Some absolutely beautiful Deathslinger play. And... Again, that overcharge just doing work on that center gen. It was it was probably what eighty percent done. Yeah, and I would say it was gone. pretty close to that. Yeah, and it's just it's just regressed down to almost nothing now. Mia yeah, getting picked up. We know that wasn't unbreakable, so our death slinger is aware of two survivors in that general area. Good point. Good point. I didn't even think about that. Ah, oh, this gen does have a significant amount of progress. Yeah, there is Feng, but she is caught out. It doesn't matter. Oh, you can't even get away with Overcome. No, not with save and play. I mean, save the best for last has always been such an insanely strong pick on Death Slinger, and the viability of it has just gotten so much higher with this recent patch. True. Healing on this arena. However, this is going to be... No, uh, this this survivor is Death Hook. I'm about to say, having a corner hook here next to this gen is going to be insane, but mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. They're just dead. They're dead. There is the 2k right there. Pausing, uh, maybe check the... Also, that's another thing I've noticed. You can see the generator aura through obstacles, and you can see if it's progressing or not. Yeah, that's that's always been nice. And... Notice they get that final stack before their obsession dies. Oh, so close. So close. But yeah, so we're going to be sticking to, you know, a decent amount of stacks here, and uh, I... I mean, get, these survivors have to play this so perfectly and so slow. And mm -hmm. it looks like they're going to be ca getting caught in one of the worst situations you can be in, which is both survivors injured and both stuck on this side of the map. Zarina can run down, but if she doesn't have a way to self-reset herself, this could be lights out. It really could be. Yeah, they do uh, They do finish many, but missing Ooh. that one shot. Okay. They do get away. That is going to let these survivors get away. However, again, Overcharge is going to start doing work on this generator. I don't even know how you finish these gens as two survivors. I don't think you can with this many stacks on a Death Slinger. I mean, the only way you could do it is just denying these free hits. And uh, now that our Death Slinger has the information of both survivors running to this side of the map, they can commit to these chases. Oh. And another clean. That has got to be the tip of the range. Getting that really, shot. really, really well done. And, and I would guess they're probably going to slug for the 4K or they don't want that last generator to pop. Nia yep. does heal, so they're not back there at the generator. Most likely not. Yeah, we saw the medkit in hand with the Nia. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to see where exactly she was resetting. But, you know, with I think the Zarina here is on second hook, meaning that hatch is not really an option for the survivors. At this moment, no, you are correct. However, they could go back and finish that generator, so you can't yeah. just hold the hatch down. Yeah, oh, this is see a bit the of a mind game. Oh, Mia, just, Mia just crossed back. Oh, if the killer saw her, I don't think the killer I saw it. I don't think. I don't think he saw her. Yeah, she crossed right back there at the edge of the map. Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, they might be able to finish with, this gen. Uh, with but with overcharge in play, I don't know how much the gen regressed. But if they didn't, 
See, yeah, they could potentially pop the gen, and that would be a, a huge point gain for... How do we get here? Especially going from a, what would be a 4k to, uh, at 1 gen to a 4k at 0 gen. So that is quite mm -hmm. a big difference. Yeah, and you have Serena on the hook, able to tell Nia, hey, go back to that generator, try and finish it kind of thing. However, they might not be able to finish the generator before this... Yeah, they, the hash kick happens before they finish yeah. it. Oh, and no way out! Yeah. However, no they way popped out, it Brock. right at the beginning. Yeah, but with four stacks, I mean, if if Slinger can find the Nia, and I mean, look at where the Nia was. This is not a great area to hide. This is very open. True. Can you see? Okay, so you can see the exit gate from the from that wall, but can you see the exit gate on the other side of the map from this wall? That center wall that uh, that makes the choke point. I'm I'm curious if Death Slinger. Can, yeah. Oh, I just saw the. I thought I just saw a shadow there move. Is Nia actually still here or not? I mean, I feel like she would have to be somewhere in the area because that the proc happened so fast and then and then um, there were no scratch marks, meaning that she would have had to... The most distance she could make is probably behind the main building. So I would guess that she's still somewhere up there. But it looks like... Can he see both gates from here? Yeah, I was like, you can see that gate pretty well, but I don't know... If, I, think the, I think the jungle gem blocks the other one. Yeah, looks like it does, but I mean, he knows that she's probably stuck on the main side of the map. The, oh, her there having she to is. stealth down, but yet there she is. Oh. I was gonna say her having to stealth down the side of the map, it would be it would be really hard to do with the situation. And so door pretty close, but you know, Deathslinger with prison chain able to pull her away mm -hmm. and gonna probably deny her from opening that, getting as much distance as possible. She's gonna yeah. try though. I mean, if you got like, I don't even know what you could have here. Yeah, it's so no. close. Maybe if they had mind game, like missed that first shot, possibly you might be able to get it, but it's so close. That's so yeah, close. It's, I mean, it, it's definitely possible, but you know, missing a shot on a standing still target like that, you know, you don't see that often. So I think it was just a bit of luck that the survivors needed here. And unfortunately it was not on their side. Our Death yeah. Singer played very well, securing that 4k at 1 gens. And now, how do we get here? It's going to have to work very hard on their killer side if they want to make that score difference. Well, I'm, 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 not, I'm not discounting it, but the... <laughs> how do we get here's killer definitely brought it up a notch. Uh, we're going to be seeing a spirit in response to the Death Slinger, which I'm kind of surprised. I, I, I'm just... Again, it, I, I know the bans here that happened. I'm surprised you would take a Deathslinger and then they're like allow for a spirit to happen. But I mean, I guess Chronicles has probably played against a lot of spirits in their time, so maybe they're just confident. It could also be the map because Spirit is a pretty strong killer. But I mean, Deathslinger on Suffo is also just like a match made in heaven, right? So that's a good point. They could be thinking of it that way, where like mm. maybe even though Spirit is overall a stronger killer, maybe they feel that Deathslinger is stronger on this map. It could be. And one thing is worth noting: I didn't see a lot of those new tiles on this map. Yeah, I didn't either. Unfortunately, I, wonder, I saw maybe one or two. I, I wonder if it's a is it a is it a, a custom games thing? Maybe it doesn't load on custom games yet, or no, it definitely does. Okay. Uh, yeah, as I told you before, we were streaming. I have been scrimming this week with different teams on the, mm -hmm. on the new maps, and we were scrimming Suffo, and the new tiles were there, and it was a lot of oh. fun. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. How are there are there any tiles out of the new package that you think are like inherently weak or bad? compared to previous ones are they all just kind of in the same they're doable i'm inclined to say that some of these tiles are stronger than ones we've had before really and some of them are especially like some of these tiles are very strong versus certain killers we were scrimming oni on shelter woods mm -hmm. and there's that tile that's literally just like a maze and he could not use his power in there and so oh, right. that was so easy to run or like nurses with all the line of sight block mm -hmm. and those that maze tile especially is going to be so brutal on killers that need to know or either killers that need mobility. I mean, Blight wastes so many bounces on that tile. Mm -hmm. I think that tile is going to be especially problematic for a lot of the um, higher tier killers. I'm actually way okay with that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I don't have any issues with it. I personally think these new tiles are a welcome change. All right. Sweet action. Do you think we'll get it over to uh, Auto Haven maps anytime soon? I imagine I mean, with them porting it over I to hope. Macmillan, we'll see it on there at some point, right? Yeah, I'm sure they'll be rolling it out like one map or one realm at a time. I want ARP with those tiles in the middle. That'd be super yeah, fun. Yeah, <laughs> that would be really cool. Oh, man. But with that said, we'll be loading up this next trial very shortly. Sorry, just I, I am so psyched for this new patch. I hope you all have been enjoying the new patch as well. But with that said, we're taking a short intermission here. Again, you are our only sponsor on the, as we uh, 
rolled it out this ad. We do appreciate it. All the subs, bits, donations, everything helps us on the back end. Keep the prize bowl going. Keep the production going. And uh, with that said, we'll be back in a very short bit.
All right, folks, welcome back. We are going into trial number two here. It's going to be a Spirit on the Suffo pit. And we were talking, we didn't see him. Uh, I think we saw only one custom tile, you said, from the last map. So I'm hoping we see some more of those new tile sets in the Suffo pit this time. I want to see something spicy in the middle there. That would be really, really cool to see. And it looks like we are loaded in here. And oh, I like this build. On the Spirit. I actually really like this build. Uh, going around checking the back, this is... Uh, I'm wondering if they meant to check back here if they thought they were going forward. Uh, you know, on maps like Suffo and ARP, you should also check the side you spawn on if there is no, like, um... Because the, the Shroud of Binding can be buggy sometimes, so there is a chance that oh. one person can spawn. Because if you have a Vigo... You're right! Like, yeah, if you have a Vigo Shroud and a Shroud of Binding together, they will always spawn off the side. But with just the Shroud of Binding, there's a chance that one can spawn the same side as you, so you should always check your corners. I did not know that was a thing. How, mm -hmm. When did that come into play? That's, I mean, Shroud of Binding has just always always been that way. And since uh, ARP, okay. ARP and Suffo have the uh, have the option of someone spawning same, two people even could spawn the same size as you. With Shroud of Binding, I don't think two can. I think only one can. But um, okay. yeah, it's it's a weird little uh, offering interaction. Interesting. And I think this is a new tile here. Yeah. It's oh, we got a four wall, And the too. four lane, yeah. I love the McMillan four lane, but uh, there's that one like crate that's just randomly there. And here's, I love this tile too. We got three new tiles in a row. I think we got what we wanted. That's a sweet setup there. I, I, I just got so much serotonin in my brain from watching that there. Oh, Ooh. good fake there from the, the Fang, but that is going to end the crop prematurely. Also, I don't know if you saw it there, but it is incredibly noticeable now. That is a brutal strength on this spirit. Yeah. I brutal strength feels really good on 115 killers now. I I think when I play 115 killers in pubs now, I'm just taking brutal strength. It just it's so good. Yeah, I think I really noticed it when I was playing against the Shelterwoods Oni that had it, and I was like, oh, I'm zoned already. Wow, uh, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been loving the quality of life changes for some of these 115 killers. And that's the thing. The the buffs really really helped the baseline 115 killers that make up like what 90 percent of the killer roster so i've been really enjoying that yeah. but unfortunately for our uh, s tiers they've also got an insane buff in a lot of cases so yeah that tends to happen yeah comes with the you know the the heavy burden of being an s tier yeah also seems like they're just gonna maybe secure a second stage here since the service haven't quite gone for a save just yet yeah, and with only one survivor on this side of the map, um, the spirit has no reason to really leave this hook since there's no pressure on his three gen down here. True, and those two gens by the hill are really, really close together. All right, it looks like uh, Claudette is going to be taking a hit here. However, going to force the hook trade with Dwight potentially, or force the hook. Yeah, they get second stage. Another gen popping. A lot of action going on here. However, like you said, that three gen is still intact. Yeah, this is a really, really tough position to be in as a survivor. You've got a basement hook right in the middle of a decently tight 3-gen. I mean, I think that the play here is you you kind of just have to let this person die on hook, unless unless the healthy Nancy can sneak around somehow. But considering we know where the other two injured are and, and a gen just popped on the other side of the map, it's mm -hmm. going to be tricky. Agreed. And again, it needs to be a 4K at 4 gens up. And if a gen doesn't get on the side, they will have the tie they need. However... Also, I just, okay, I saw, this. did scratch marks like disappear for Dwight there for a second? I didn't see uh, any scratch marks coming out of there. Is that a dance with me or something? That could be uh, lightweight maybe. Oh my God, I've seen so much lightweight. Lightweight is actually a good perk now. Like don't even have Oh me. yeah. I've been telling teams to run it versus spirit. It's pretty strong. It is so good. It, it screws me over at some of these uh, long walls too. They do progress the second stage, no kinship or anything. One gen, one survivor out at two gens up still. So, and this gen isn't that far off. Yeah, this is like, it's weird. We have a, it's like we have a three gen on the bottom, and then we mm -hmm. also have a three gen going like up the right side too, like in a line. So Just it's not it. like a, it's not a four gen, but it's like two separate three gens connected, you know? Right. And unfortunately, going to whiff on the Nancy, they're not able to get that hit, and Spirit will be going back to this three gen. Yeah, effectively, that corner gen right there holds it all together. If they can break that corner gen, they might have a shot. Yeah, but also, that's what it was going to come down to. And yeah, it's a dead zone, and so you just your only chance of that is just putting like your sprint burst there and just hoping for the best. Because yeah, you can't even do overcome now. Yeah, I mean, if you get M1 by a spirit, even with overcome, she's going to catch up and phase way too quickly. Absolutely. 
Trevors are starting to work on this generator, going for the brutal strength kick. There you go. Do you see that yellow progress bar? Not gonna bother to go after Nancy. Yeah, Might just be I think. Content. Yeah, just opting to hold the three gen. You don't want to overcommit yourself because the second you overcommit and you run all the way to main side, I mean, two people jump on the corner gen, you could potentially lose it. And, it and takes... worth noting that is a failed skill check. That is overcharge. Yep. Survivors and are aware of another overcharging play, and you know I'm I'm happy to be seeing some of the new some of the new changes to these perks being run. Absolutely. Uh, comp, seeing these new builds that killers are coming up with, especially with um you know like new bands and stuff rolling out from different tournaments, you gotta adapt, you know. Indeed. So, greeting the palette. What a. I'm. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised it didn't hit. I mean, if you consider the ping difference between NA and like Germany, I it was like I for sure thought that Dwight was getting hit. Absolutely. And brutal strength going to give him a lot of distance here in this chase. Yeah, this Dwight's going to take a hit here. Or Ooh. that is the auto third lock. whiff in a row. I wonder what's going on. Hey, it could just be weird auto lock, and there's finally the hit onto the Dwight. It is important to note that the only pallet on that bottom area down there near the gen is gone now. There is nothing safe over there for them, unless there's one right next to Shaq that I missed. It's going to be really hard to do that generator. Mm hmm. And Dwight, again, just kind of dodging all together. I, I really think you're right. I think they have lightweight because, man, you cannot see them. Yeah, I you know, lightweight, once you get used to the timing of it, you can really take advantage of like when they're gonna disappear and then turn a corner at that moment and then you're gone. Right. Oh, they do oh. finish this corner gen at the hill though. Dwight is over here, but they finish the gen. And yeah, now that, that Nancy's on that gen un uh, unopposed, they probably made that skill check. Yeah, yeah, I mean they here. were they were they managed to sneak a survivor down there. I didn't even think anyone was on that generator. I'm, I'm obviously Same. our spirit didn't think so either. So they did a really good job sneaking a survivor down there. I was gonna say we haven't seen Claudette in a while. I wonder what she's up to, and I guess that's what she's been doing this whole time. Very possible. Yeah, good job sneaking back there. They managed to position both those survivors well. Dwight now healed. Uh, I don't know if they saw scratch marks over to the right there. Potentially. Oh, there is the Dwight. Yeah, because that's what people don't realize is that scratch marks start to disappear with three seconds left. So at the seven, like they last for 10 seconds, but as like, as of the seventh second, it's already disappearing. So now it's five seconds shorter. They're disappearing at the three second mark. Yeah. Which is insane. Yeah, it's it's such a wacky perk. And I think it's such a, uh, it's, it's a decent replacement for all those W holders that like to run Iron Will because of Iron Will being nerfed now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Iron Will is still a decent perk, I would say. Uh, I was running it in pubs and was like, oh, I'm surprised that this actually still works a little bit. But the, the lightweight, I mean, I think I'm going to be running lightweight over Iron Will in all my builds now. Just for that uh, that distance that you can get from it if they lose in the tile. I, I can completely understand that. Yeah, Overcharge doing quite a bit of work here. If they fail that skill check, which they seem to have occasionally, does regress it even more. Doubling up on this gen, it seems like, as this gen has a lot more progress than we last left it. Also, can I just... Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be hipster here. I have always loved Overcharge. It has been a pet perk of mine for the longest <laughs> time. It's just so bad. And now it's just, ugh. And now it's, like, actually pretty decent, especially when you True. combine it with Call of Brine. Like... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Which, by the way, that is a banned combo in this league, because, <laughs> dear goodness, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, 300% regression is uh, is kind of kind of nuts, so... Ooh. Oh, so close there. Almost getting that. However, I think they realized they just need to commit to a chase here and get something going. However, two survivors are going to be on a gen. And I believe it only takes 52 seconds together to do a gen. Uh, yeah, I think, it, yeah, 52 sounds about right to me. Um, so, yeah, that could be pretty short. And this chase has been incredibly long. Nancy mm -hmm. doing an amazing job keeping Spirit occupied here at main building on the other side of the map. And it's still going. Yeah, and, it is. Yep, there we go. Is that a quick and quiet, possibly? I think it was. Oh, was there a survivor oh, behind them? I didn't even hear anyone. Same. Uh oh, <laughs> look at the sword lodged in her hands now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that bug. Oh, that's beautiful. However, they do finish that final gen. Nancy will go down here, but I think these survivors are going to be able to safely get a two out, possibly even a three out if they're feeling so ballsy. I wouldn't go for it. I think the two out. Uh, yeah, especially since this is only going to be a, what, six-stage game if they take the two? That would be two fresh mm -hmm. shots out the door. You you just take that result happily. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That is, I think, a 16-12 to 12 result in favor of the survivors, which 
after after when the when the win con was just to get a fifth gen done at a 4k for a two point lead this this is going to be a really strong lead for the match point going to set number two yeah i mean survivors i mean they they recovered that considering that death in the basement in this mm -hmm. region i mean that could have been over but they 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 kept their cool they played it slow they played it well and they're able to break that that three gen bottom side or on shack side i'm sorry and uh, i mean they they made it work yeah i think the, i think the one thing that might have been uh not going for the spirit is the fourth perk that we do not know about is pop goes the weasel and considering there are only two hooks this entire game uh pop not really I, I don't think spirit came with the intention of you know that kind of uh again if you take if, if a hook is given to you in the basement like that you take it but obviously you kind of just had this fourth perk sitting in your pocket that just really didn't do anything the whole game yeah and also as we were talking about in the game if you look at dwight's perks here we do see the lightweight there with the overcome oh my goodness this is so good i i can I, can we I am, I love this new patch. I know that some people are really hating on it. And like, I get it. If you play solo queue, it's not that fun right now. It can be miserable, but the perk changes are so cool. I, I we're loading into lobbies and I don't see the same four or five killer perks. I don't see the same like seven survivor perks. It's the wild west. It's everything. I especially love when a new patch like this comes out and everyone's still learning like what's meta, yeah. what's good. And so there's just so much experimentation and the games are just so much more fun absolutely like in like i i know off the record is becoming more popular but off the record is also very counterable in my opinion like if if you if they are running it so they don't get ton off the hook if you just hit them off the hook they don't get it it's just gone yeah i mean killers that uh camp <laughs> yeah exactly are not going to struggle is... with off the record too much so and this is this is the prediction i made when the when you the did. patches when you the patches it. Out. i said i said survivors have been complaining about tunneling so much that they don't realize that this patch is actually going to be forcing camping more than tunneling mm -hmm. and i think i mean i i think i called it because i'm you seeing did. a lot of complaints about camping and i that's this is exactly what this patch is, is allowing killers to do a lot easier agreed i i think if they wanted to try and fix it a little bit so i know borrow time essentially you get seven or was it 15 seconds of uh endurance and haste but if you get hit you just lose it if you kept mm. the haste status effect afterward for 15 seconds, uh, I think yeah, that'd be that's better. actually a really good idea. When I when I read the um, the patch notes, I actually thought that was going to be what it mm -hmm. was. So I was really scared that viral time was going to become like very strong. But <laughs> I, you know, it, losing the haste on hit is, mm -hmm. is not a big deal um, for killers. Yeah, yeah for if you, sure. If you kept the haste, I think that's a really good idea. That's a really good change idea. We can I, again. Behavior has shown. Especially, I've, I've been really high on behavior the past three months. I've really liked what they've been doing. They've shown that they are listening to their community more. I imagine we'll probably see another follow-up patch here in a couple of weeks that's going to be tweaking some of the changes they did. Probably some bug fixes because we've got plenty of bugs yeah. to go around. Probably some little updates and tweaks here to make the game feel a little bit better. I think they might even revert the decisive strike change to four seconds maybe or something. At least not I, three I, seconds. Yeah, I, I think that they kind of need to. And, and decisive strike is a perk that I personally have a lot of problems with. But mm -hmm. at the same time, considering... The way pubs are, at least, I think that they kind of do need to bring Decisive Strike back. Or or survivors could learn how to use the new Decisive Strike. Because, again, <laughs> I've I've seen people using it effectively because they know... I mean, this comes back to... This is comp strategy, right? Mm. Positioning, where to die, things like that. It's how you use the new Decisive Strike. So a lot of pub players who aren't used to that kind of thinking and just use it, like, willy-nilly and be like, oh, I'm just going to jump in locker and get it. And then they die instantly. They're going to not like the perk as much as they used to because they're not using it, like, the way it's meant to be used now, you know? So I, I think it's either going to be adapting or reverting. I, I don't know which it's going to be. Probably reverting because, like, here's the thing. I 100% agree for, of that mentality. The problem is the average survivor, in fact, majority, like 80% of the survivor and killer player base don't play at a level that we have yeah, that. No. So it's, I would it's rough. love it. Like, that's the thing. I, like, I, I've seen plenty of killers, like, saying some inflammatory stuff like, Oh, survivors are just having to finally play the game skillfully and not have free get out of jail free perks. It's like, yes, I agree, but the average survivor probably also doesn't have 2k hours in the game. <laughs> yeah, I think you really just notice it at like the higher MMRs where oh, yeah. like killers are actually managing to get a lot more kills now. And mm -hmm. I think people are really looking at the dead hard changes like something that's completely shifted the way survivors play the game. I've mm -hmm. noticed at least in my games, survivors aren't greeting pilots anymore. They're pre-dropping, which is yep. a comp strategy. You know, you see mm -hmm. that a lot more. 
And because they're because they're scared mindless, they don't have that yeah. dead hard to get back if they mess it up. They 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 just don't want to get hit. Once they're injured, mm -hmm. it's just pre drop everything. So you know, it's just completely shifting the way people play the game. And I think it's gonna take a week or two before people settle into like the new style. I I, and I hope that behavior does take that into account. I want them to listen to the community, but I also hope they don't knee jerk reaction to the like the massive outcry right now because I from what I've all seen, like you said, teams that are swift or just good players in general aren't feeling these changes nearly as much as the everybody else swift oh, yeah. is still good crack survivors are still going to stomp the killer's toes like that's not the issue right now it's just killer's got a nice quality of life buff if you're 115 killer like um uh, one of my buddies one of the best clowns in the game kemzy has been obliterating survivors recently with clown because they're like they were already precise now they're rewarded for being precise kind of thing yeah no I, yeah m1s and 115s like they they got they got a nice little mm -hmm. little boost in this patch, which I really appreciate considering a lot of them are just not good. Simply yeah, put. exactly. So it's it's good to see. It's good to mm -hmm. see. Absolutely, but again, we're again we're just uh, we're just we're just. Uh, what, what's the, what's the phrase? Uh, what, what what is it when you're just chilling and talking about the new stuff? I, I forget what it's called. Uh, <laughs> shooting the shit. Kicking. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> kicking back. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. But uh, with that said. We'll be taking a short intermission here again as we get this last, this next lobby set up. It is going to be, I believe, a Huntress, but what map are we playing? We are playing on Gas Heaven Huntress. Oh, boy. Okay. I am here for it. But with that said, we'll be back very shortly. Again, we do appreciate you sitting through these ad breaks as it does help us out on the back end. But with that said, we'll be back very shortly. Stay tuned.
All right, folks, welcome back. We're going to be loading in here very shortly. It's going to be a good old Huntress game. I, I, what was the last time we saw Huntress? It wasn't last week, was it? It was the week before, maybe? It's been a hot minute. I, I, I've missed it has, Huntress. It has, yeah. So with the new patch coming out, what changes do you think Huntress is going to see the most of? Uh, well, I think Oakhaft got kind of a shadow buff. Uh, again, talking similarly to Deathslinger, mm, if you hit, if you hit, a, if you cl hit a close range Oakhaft hit on a survivor, they're going to get a lot less distance, and you're going to recover from it a lot faster. So, um, I think that that's like the number one thing that comes to mind. Other than that, I I don't think she really got much. Honestly, it's a little bit unfortunate, but that's where we are. Well, based on the perks that I'm seeing, I do I do think there was one possibly that we might see that uh got a little bit of love, but. <sighs> A quick find here for the Dwight. And we do see that machine gun, like you said, Babushka Oka. To be fair, is there anything you run out otherwise in comp? I think this is just the build you run, right? Uh, I've seen infantry belt with okay, add-ons. Um, I've seen infantry belt with both of these add-ons on their own, actually. I, I personally am a fan of running Oakhaft in comp just because the, the camping you get from it is unparalleled. Ooh. But Babushka is really good for getting hits, especially hits like those. I mean, without Babushka, that hit wouldn't have happened. So it, they're both really important add-ons. So I personally think running them together is the best way to go. But uh, people have their own opinions about that. But, I yeah, can respect here we go. that. Yeah. Trying to get this shot on the Fang. She is kind of zoned here. Has to be careful. Oh, expecting the double uh, back, but not getting it. This Fang will probably get it away. Yeah. Yeah, she does manage to get away. Really unfortunate using all five hatches for that. And then we have Dwight and Chase here, but with no hatchets left to go, she has to reload and uh, click reload. Iron Maiden. Good old Iron Maiden. However, yeah, this is the one downside about range killers in this map. Look at trying to get that survivor. They have that beautiful. Oh! They yeah they were confirming that uh, that Iron Maiden's like hey that that was really fast. Let's confirm Iron Maiden jumps in <laughs> screams. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's 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 a somewhat safe maneuver because she's oh, yeah. so slow. So I don't I don't disagree with that, but yeah, absolutely. Um, and it looks like we're finding the injured survivor here, which is probably the best thing that could happen for a huntress. Indeed, and trying to get around this corner. No, not quite gonna manage to it. Also, is this the uh, the Baba Yaga skin? Yeah, personally, my favorite hunter skin in the entire game. I absolutely love the sounds that she makes. I just think it's so good. I know. I, I I completely agree. It's one of my favorite skins on her by far. Also worth noting, if you uh, if you are looking, you do see that the the uh, the bar is yellow when kicking. So this is a brutal strength, which again is one of those perks I think that like eruption. Let's go. Oh, I love it. Okay, okay. Again, eruption, one of those really sick perks. I'm seeing more eruption now, and I'm kind of into it. Yeah, it's it's a cool perk, and you know, part of the reason why Eruption is getting so much love is because it's com it's combinations with the other changes, like Call of Brian Eruption, Overcharge mm -hmm. Eruption. Like you're already kicking the gens anyway. Yeah, might as well get some more benefit out of it. Absolutely, and beautiful value from that Eruption as we get up two uh, two regressions, taking up not quite getting the range on that pot shot there. And a pop goes the weasel to boot. Yep. I think that's All whole right. build then now that these survivors uh, should be aware of. Um, you know, it, it's interesting to see the the no corrupts. I think that's like mm -hmm. one of the things that I'm curious to see the most about different teams is how are they gonna adjust to the corrupt changes? I, I personally think that it's still a must have, but I could I can see the merit in certain killers or certain maps where you might not need to run it. Yeah, I, I, again, uh, with the changes as the tricks remain, I don't run corrupt anymore. I it might not be incorrect, but. I actually run lethal now because I've got so many R rating perks that benefit from it. I mean, and that's I just enough. started. I just started chase soon, so I I think it's enough of a, a trade off. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's you know, in, in, pub, in pubs and pubs, lethal pursuer is definitely going to be a nice alternative. I would say, especially with the buffs that it received. Um, yeah, I I think I think there are certain even in comp. I think there's certain situations where you don't have to run corrupt actually. Yeah, true. Oh my goodness, they got oh. that hit. That's dirty. Yeah, and not getting any distance away from this tile either. They're kind of stuck in getting sense of the... Oh, never mind. She no, actually they actually did. I thought, I thought she was going to get zoned in the corner, and now it's going to be kind of dangerous, but making it all the way to Shaq is going to be uh, really, really good for the survivors. I think they even went past Shaq. I think they went to this tile behind here. Yeah, they did. Question is, can you get the hit here? Not going to stick to that. They, they might be going down here. Oh, they faked the window, though. And they might actually take Dwight over here. First gen finally getting done for these survivors. So close. Second gen getting done for these survivors. But and Feng be doing work right now. 
Chasing, they do get yeah. the body block here going into this tile. However, uh, now they're both injured. Oh, okay. oh. I think they counted the uh, the hatches because Huntress is in fact going to have to reload here. They think they might have called that. Yeah, I mean, they've just saved so much time. Still at one hook and they were able to pop these gens and just <sighs> making sure this Nancy doesn't get tunneled out too quickly. And, and she's doing a great job keeping this Huntress busy. Absolutely. I'm thinking this killer needs to get it down quickly to get that eruption value on both the gens they kicked because those will be worked on very shortly. Yeah, I mean, injured at TL wall, this is kind of the perfect situation for a Huntress to be in. And 50-50, uh, mm -hmm. not quite getting it here, but... Oh! Uh, ooh. So close, almost getting the bait. Trying to get a little cheeky shot off there, but Survivor was aware of the situation going on. Is it going to work again? Probably oh, not. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! Vaulting into the killer's face, and there's that eruption value. How, how long does the Survivor have to wait after they scream now? How long are they incapacitated? I want to say it's 20 seconds. Yeah, it is It is a non-zero amount of time, and it is not negligible. That is a significant amount of time that the subscriber is not going to be able to work on that generator. Yeah, I mean, eruption is perfectly viable now, in my opinion. Absolutely. I, yeah, I, say, I think the trees blocked that. I, I do wish the trees didn't reach as high, but... Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> what can I you think do? When, once teams realize the killer has eruption, I think that there's actually counterplay to it, though, because you can call out, oh, I'm about to go down, get off your right. gens, you know? Like, I think that that's going to be something we see, especially since I think eruption is going to be a higher pick to hurt now. Absolutely. Look, this gen's got so much progress, so Pop is going to do some work on it. True. As it, Yeah, because they changed Pop, it is now 20% of the overall progress, right? Mm hmm. Not nearly as uh, good as it used to be. Again, I, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Oh, my goodness, that hits? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That it looked like it difference. hit the. Well, it just looked like it hit the railing. Oh my oh. goodness, the shots! Yeah, really good double tap here from our Huntress. It's exactly what she needed to stay in the game. Absolutely, and this is gonna be first hook coming in here for the Dwight. No, I'm not saying like the hitbox. I was just saying like it looked like it hit the railing. Like I know oh, the hitbox for the yeah, Huntress hatch is like mean. you know it's vertical and everything, so it was just weird. Yeah, it was kind of a wacky hit. Just a little bit. Also, I didn't realize they have kind of this like strung out three gen in the back here, but otherwise these gens are pretty dang spread out. I mean, it is gas heaven. Getting a it's three gen heaven, here is yeah. like, it, it's, it's a unicorn to get a good three gen here, but. Yeah, no. only like, there's like a three gen you can get like in the little bottom area where the hook is right now and a three gen you can get along up, up this side of the map. And that's like about it. And But neither of them are very tight. So true. Not a, not a consistent three gen map by any means. They are going to be trying to jam this generator out. Plot it will be here with the sprint burst. They're going to stick at this tile, though. Not going to leave it. Maybe worried about getting caught out. Good little mind game there, but not going to fall for it. Really good Huntress counterplay. I'm seeing the five being very patient, hugging these walls, not taking anything for granted. Yeah, they're definitely running this um, with the pathing you need to counter a Huntress. I mean, not being so quick to jump these windows and specially is really really important and um they're they're wasting Ooh. a lot of time that was a ballsy jump there from the claudette i if uh if huntress had actually started the swing they would have got that hit i think yeah and if claudette's been counting hatchets she'll know that she has uh no more hatchets left so mm -hmm. uh I'm, I'm interested to see whether she keeps playing this safe or or, or plays it a oh. little more dangerously and it looks like uh you know, yeah, chasing without your hatchets is kind of rough on Huntress. True, very true. And uh, yeah, Claudette is going to be able to leave this tile and get a little bit of safety here. Though I don't know how much that Iron Maiden actually kind of paying off just a little bit. Oh, good attempt there. Yeah, Claudette will be going down here. But I imagine, yeah, one gen down. I imagine that hill gen is also going to finish here momentarily. I'm surprised we didn't see uh, any kind of... Usually on Huntress, you usually see some kind of, like, agitation based in play, but we didn't see that this game. Yeah, it's a bit tricky on a map like Gas 7 because True. The, the, the basement is in the corner of the map, whereas maps like Wreckers, I mean, you can always make basement edgy, like, most, most of the time, unless you die, like, edge map. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are that bold. They're like, yes, hit me. Do it. Deliverance! Uh, everything has a reason. Yep, it all makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky play from the Dwight here. Then with no end game perk, they might actually be able to, oh, is this beautiful mm. attempt on the hatchet, but unfortunately they do get oh. the hit. Oh, they're gonna have to go for a window shot here. Oh, but the door is still here. I think they need to go for a window shot. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to get that. Kicking the door open yep. took just long enough. 
And that other Exegate, I think, has progress on it. Yeah, and they do get the hatch to get out instead. Yeah, well I mean, this was, this was impressive on both sides, I'd say. Some of these shots were quite impressive. Oh, and, absolutely. Uh, the survivors played very effectively around the Huntress and Chase. Honestly, this doesn't look too different from pre-meta. This is a uh, dance with me, maybe, but otherwise, yeah, pretty standard stuff I'm seeing. This is a I you could I would not have guessed this is after. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks looks pretty similar to me. I think the only noticeable change here is no, no, no too dead hard. hard. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. one borrow time and no dead hard. Yeah, yeah, one. <laughs> I mean, that, that's two slots to fill in, but I think they did pretty well. Sprint first, lithe, bounce landing, overcome. Yeah, we, we've got good. We've got good exhaustion perks. It's not going to be a problem oh, to fill in. yeah, no. Absolutely, but GGWP in that round as we're going into this final match. I do not think it is possible now for how do we get here to get the match point, but they still could get the set point if they play out of their minds. Because I think that was a four, was that four or five stage hook? Uh, was that a five, four or five stage game? I think it was four. I think it was. I think it was four. Yeah. So, not impossible, but it is going to be a tall order as we are going to be seeing an Oni this time on the gas, and which is, to be fair, uh, there is some counterplay to Oni on this map, but again, with the way the the game is, again, I brutal strength on Oni is so good now. I yeah. I don't know if it's going to be safe enough for these survivors to deny hits. I think they'll run out too soon because the uh, ninety sec between ninety second generators. I it, it, yeah, I don't I don't think they're going to be able to get away. I think they're going to get an early hit here. Yeah, I think it's just kind of inevitable. Mm -hmm. So we will have to see how that goes out. And again, one final trial to go for this first round, but again, we got two more after this. So stick around for that, and we'll be back in just a moment. Give us one second. Give us a little bit of an ad break, and we'll be back shortly. Stay tuned.
one all right folks welcome back to the final trial of how do we get here versus chronicles are we going to be seeing actually i don't remember what we're going to be seeing I, I said it and i forgot it immediately the oni right <sighs> do you think we'll see an attack on titan skin can we see an attack on titan skin please uh that'd be nice <laughs> we've seen it a couple times in the survivors it'd be, it'd be cool to see armored titan uh oh <gasps> no I think it is. Wait, is that is that? Oh that my gosh! Is. I thought I thought it was the, I thought it was like an ice sword at first. No, that is yeah that that is. Let's go. And we I, even I've have seen... Hanji. Yeah, this is a, this is canon. This is canon. Canon. Let's go. <laughs> I would like to see at least one game today where everyone has the Attack on Titan skin. I uh, that would be so cool. I would absolutely love that, but I don't know. I I don't think we'll see it. Uh, oh, also this killer did bring corrupt. I guess it kind of makes yeah. sense. You want to get a hit and then, you know, just kind of run around. And they do have the splintered hull, so that makes sense. Also, I'm kind of surprised that Oni's allowed right now with the bug. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the bug. I mean, I'm yeah. sure the killer and survivor are well aware of it, and they're not going to allow too much vaulting to go on. I say as they vault. As they vault. Yeah, and with splintered hull in play, too. Oh, my like, goodness. Oh, the my. Oh, my. my. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm here for it. Claudette getting uh, kind of just caught out and obliterated there, and they're going to leave him yeah. slugged. Corrupt has ended, but I don't think Oni cares. They got their power super early here. Yeah, they're going for some pressure right now. Ooh, run, Hanji, really good run. dodge. Yeah, really good dodge from the Zarina here, and we'll see if this is the flick, and it is. It is. Two slugs at five gen. What an insane start from our Not Oni. only five gens, that was within the first minute. Oh, yep. and, okay, there's a Gen 2. Survivors are not pulling punches, though. Yeah, the information, though, is that those two survivors had to be doubling the Gen, though, the two healthies, and that means that this had to be unbreakable. Exactly, yeah. True. But she's injured, so, like, this is just a blood farm now, right? <laughs> Maybe? It depends on if they're able to get inside of a map in time. Also, do, does because I know there's double orbs right now. That's the issue. Do those orbs stay indefinitely? I'm not sure. I'm not super well versed in in the, how the bug works. Okay. I just know that it makes Splintered Hole look insane. Like it, it makes Splintered Hole iridescent level, like an ultra rare add-on. It really does. I mean, ultra sure, Splintered Hole is already super insane. Oh yeah, but like I'm saying, imagine it as like an ultra rare. That's what this bug is doing. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's just insane. Getting their power already. They're gonna be taking it into the shack here. Or not. Nah, looks like they're going to be going off for another survivor instead. As it does, I do believe that was borrow time from the Felix there. Bounce landing from this is not going to get him distance, though. Oh, they get the flick, though. Well done by this Claudette. They might actually be spared here, potentially. Good mind games oh, from the no. Oni. Oh. Did they miss again? Well, that's juicing. Absolutely. But it's like, I didn't get an attack oh. on Titan skin. Why am I not special? <laughs> Yeah, that was a that was that kept the Oni in chase for a good amount of time and True. losing most of their power from that. That was very well played from the quad here. 
Indeed, especially when you know you're, uh, uh oh, they are, they are healing up over here. There is a blood farm, and they didn't quite finish the heal either. Going to the corner, and he's like, hold on, let me drink first. I'm thirsty. However, not enough to get their power. I think they, yeah, they were hoping they could get their power from that. And then if you go to the corner, you're just down. Yeah, that would have been devastating. Absolutely. But, uh, still managing to get the power in. I think to stay in chase with the Zarina here. So I think the, did, where'd the Zarina go? It looks like they went back to Shaq. Yeah, doing a really good job here. Wasting the time. Staying inside and not going outside. Really good mind games from the Serena. Yep. Can this flick land? Oh, oh, oh the locker play. The locker play, but just a simple M1 is going to do the trick here. But yeah, what a great flick from the Oni, though. I mean, if she had gone for that window, that would have been a hit. Absolutely. And a second gen being done for these survivors. However, one more hook stage from this killer, and these survivors are out. Yeah, they've got to play this so carefully. Mm hmm. I think they can allow for Zarina to die, but that's it. Because I think they hooked three separate. Like, yeah, last game it was three separate survivors, and one of them got a second hook stage. So they only got 11 points. This right now is only eight points. Yeah. So as long as they don't give a fresh survivor here, they can still do it, but that, that is a tall order. <laughs> Yeah, especially with the amount of pressure they're under right now. Mm. There's still some blood orbs on the map, and yeah, no, it's just going to be rough. Yeah, and look at these two gens and the hill gen all together. This is the three gen the Hunters was hoping for last game. Yeah, the the rare occasion of getting a decent three gen on this map. Mm-hmm. Not really sure what's going on here. Sprint bursting past the Oni. Okay, oh. okay. I see what's going on here. However, I think... Felix has not been eruption. Oh, again. Man. <laughs> Beautiful That's eruption so by there. Yeah. And that is going to tie the game for them, which again, tie set does go to the match point here since it wasn't a second tie set. So Chronicles yeah. will be clutching out this game. Really and good it, performance, and it's not quite over yet. We still got plenty of game to go. I'm true. curious to see how these survivors are going to do. You know, oh. Beautiful what shot there. Yeah. Worth noting as well, in addition to brutal strength, and I think it's okay to call it out now. Survivors are probably, if they're not well aware of it, it's it doesn't matter here. There is collar bright as well. Like you said, that collar bright eruption combo. And another yeah. eruption. Oh. Yeah, no, that gen is gone or soon to be gone. <laughs> it, you know, like Call of Rhine Eruption, I think, is going to be kind of a kind of a neat combo on these kinds of uh, these stronger killers that get consistent downs. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, just I I am I welcome in this new era of you know more than five perks on a killer kind of thing. Oh, baiting the whiff there. We're going to see so much more diversity among killers now. I think. Yeah, I'm really excited. I, I again, behavior. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this patch has been such a blessing for the comp scene. Like, I, I mean, I, I think it's, I think it's a good overall change for Agreed. the general health yeah. of the game. Like, the, the the health of the game is better than it has been, in my opinion. Absolutely. But I'm just for the comp scene, though. I mean, this is like <laughs> insane. Absolutely. And again, like once the once behavior like sorts out the little bugs here and there, tweaks the patch. Because again, you. A massive patch like this, there's gonna be some rebound. We're gonna see some changes again, but once this gets settled out, I'm very excited to see where the game goes from here. Oh yeah. I mean, the changes that they've made now are gonna completely affect the way that new killers and survivors get out of this game. Yes, absolutely. Every every killer prior to this update was playing on 80 second gens, a certain mm -hmm. cooldown on weapon, a certain distance, but now with these new chapters that come out, they have they can perfectly adapt it to what they've already changed, and so that's mm -hmm. gonna. I hope make these new chapters much more fleshed out and, and much more interesting in the current meta. I agree. Also, Survivor is, again, doing a really good job. It's just that uh, the win con was so tough to do. And to be fair, I think they're also trying to greet it out just a little bit there and only able to take advantage of it. Just really, really good pressure. This is also a really tight set of gens. How many gens do we have in the center here? Is it three or is it four? I don't know. That's that's a, that, it's not quite a, a four gen, but with Oni able to rock around, these gens are tight yeah. enough. It, yeah, it, with movement, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
this really good eruption play a lot of good value oh this cloud is slippery good lunge there could not yeah could not quite uh get away from that but yeah this cloud that the, the fov uh the movement <laughs> and just like where'd she go and then swinging and it's the wrong direction the, yeah, Claude, the quad head is very slippery, as you said. Oh my goodness. Getting the down at the last possible moment with their power. However, I do think that might be a kinship. That that timer's been paused for a little bit here. So, a little bit of kinship value, but I think the is going to be able to clench out the 4K here. We're still on three yeah, gems. Pretty, pretty safe to say. Um, I mean, at this point, the survivors uh, can play this however they want because you know it, it already is their loss so they they mm -hmm. might not be taking it as seriously or whatever and they could just be like playing for fun or like joking around or something you know we, we it, we've seen situations like that in the past so mm -hmm. without that kind of pressure on them you know it, it doesn't really matter a whole lot so um, playing for yeah, glory they, exactly yeah so i think that we're just going to be seeing the the, the 4k uh, here from the oni shortly getting their power yeah I, i've completely forgot about until this game that the Oni had a bug, and that early power was just devastating. Yeah, I, it definitely gave him power. <laughs> I like t t maybe 10 seconds faster than he should have. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's a it's a rough bug, and I I don't even know how bugs like that come to be. And wow, what a what a some maneuverability here from the Oni, just like piloting mm -hmm. a plane over here. Another survivor over here as well. Oh, vaulting back in front of them. Bold strats. Oh, getting vacuum on the pallet instead of the actual survivor, though. Or they'll be able to make it to this pallet. Oh, they see another survivor coming in here. Flashlight safe. Oh, oh, no. Oh, uh, that would have been so cool. That would have been pretty sweet. This Beautiful be job, first, though. First kill of the, of the game here. Yes, I believe so. This yeah. is a uh, yeah first kill. Also, yeah. since we've got the time and you know this this game is you know coming to its close and conclusion. For all the because I see this again, I don't, I don't I try to stay on Twitter because dear goodness it's like accessible sometimes. There have been so many people complaining about the Attack on Titan skins like oh like why are you doing this? It doesn't this isn't a horror game like what are oh you talking my. about like can, chill like. Can we not appreciate how big of a landmark this is for behavior I getting an IP like this to join with yeah. them? And it's 10 skins! Yeah. There's 10 skins! 10 skins? I'm sure at least one person like got... Ev everyone should have gotten at least one character they played here. I would hope anyway, between 10, between 10 skins. Yeah! Uh, I mean, the, the lobby music, too? Oh my the, goodness, it's so good! Like, I... I I think they just did a great job. And I, I love how, how the devs said they wanted to keep it true to the survivors. Like, for example, the Yui skin, the Mikasa skin. Oh, yeah, Mikasa, she still has, yeah. Like, yeah, she still has, like, her pink or purple bandana that, that Yui would normally have. My, my friend compared it to, like, these survivors, like, cosplaying Attack on Titan characters, and I thought that was a really cool way of putting it. Actually, that's um, a really good way of putting it. Holy cow. Yeah, and it's, it's just, it's cool because you get to see them. They stay true to the DVD characters, but you can definitely tell who the characters are at first glance, uh, Attack on Titan-wise. Ooh, good flick. Absolutely. And then, like, the, the Hammer Titan for Spirit is really oh, cool. I was not expecting that, yeah. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, they teased us, like, hey, look at this. And it, they even said, like, you know, this isn't the final product. This is, you know, what we're playing with. And then they're like, by the way, it's not three skins. We got eight skins. And we got charms to go with it, too. It's like, oh, behavior you shouldn't have. Christmas came early. Okay. Yeah. No, the charms are great, too. You know, and I just the whole... I just think they did a perfect job capturing uh, Attack on Titan skins into the yeah. game. They just they just look so good. <laughs> they really do. I was very happy with it. And again, like I can understand maybe it's not everybody's cup of tea, and that's fine. Oh, that's but don't be hating fine. on the fun here. Like yeah, why, it's why a are huge accomplishment. Can, yeah, it's such a big accomplishment. And why are people hating on how it's not a horror IP when we literally have a Christmas present Dwight skin? <laughs> <laughs> I mean uh, is that really Jingle horror? I don't think. Yeah. yeah, we got the Jingle Bells Dwight. There's plenty of goofy skins in this game that I think you can have an attack an attack on titan is a serious show come on like oh yeah it's brutal yeah and i would say like it has horror elements at certain points where it's like pretty freaky like especially since, true like the first season it's like pretty freaky so you know it might not be a horror show slash book you know but like come on <laughs> is anyone really complaining like like that enjoys attack on titan was there an attack on titan fan that really said wow i really wish this hadn't gotten added to dvd 
Yeah, for real though. I think it's just people that don't like. Maybe they don't like the anime. Maybe they don't like anime in general. Like I don't it's know. Possible. But it's like, uh, it's like you know what? That's fine. You do you. But like this is this is cool. I I am really yeah. happy for this uh, this IP. Also, I think that this attack the attack titan also just looks sick. Like. Ugh. Or no, Armor Titan, sorry. Not armor, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. The, it's such, and like every little detail. I like how all of the, um, the, 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 the rods that are in him turn into the armor, like, yeah. when he rages. It's so, such a good attention to detail. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, the detail in these skins, again, if, if you're a fan of the anime or the manga and you, you, you can see all the little details that they've added, it's just, it's phenomenal. I, I think the, the anime does get a lot of, a lot of hate because of how popular it is, the popularity that it brings. And, I just don't think that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I don't think it matters how popular something is. Uh, it doesn't change how how good it can be. So. Um, I agree. I'm, I'm I'm hoping that this also brought people to like maybe do some more research into into the show or the or the books because I mean it really is a, it really is a great series. Mm hmm. No, absolutely. I I I I thoroughly enjoyed the most recent season of it as well. But mm -hmm. <laughs> there's Claudette coming to Oni. Oh man. Yeah, really well, like, Survivors did a good job at the beginning, but again, the combination of Colibrine Eruption and just the sheer pressure Oni could put was just yeah. a lot to pa deal with. Power was gained way mm. too fast. There was no recovering it at that point. I mean, the bug definitely had a part to play in him, but we cannot deny that this Oni played this perfectly. Really did, yeah, absolutely well placed. And there was, there was, some, there was some moves from the Survivors where they were juking and doing oh, well, yeah, but... No, that Oh man, I'm very curious. Anything, anything new and spicy? We see the desperate measures. We do see that pretty often. No, it looks pretty standard again. Just with that one yeah. bar of time, no dead hard. Good yeah. stuff. Really well played. But again, uh, I, I guess I guess closing remarks. Uh, I'm really happy that behavior got this uh, this collab, and it it opens the door for so many others that I'm kind of excited to see where they go with it next. Yeah, because they, they did say they were going to be other anime. So, uh, yeah. sorry, hater. Hi, sorry, haters. It's here to stay. Like, you just kind of got to deal with it. Like, I want Made in Abyss, but I know it's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I mean, when, people people were hoping for, like, Tokyo Ghoul or, like, Death Note or something more horror, which I'm sure we'll get something like that in the future. Um, Death Note would be very plausible, actually. She should go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to see that. But, yeah. Anyway, beyond the point. Regardless, congratulations, Chronicles, on your 3-0 win and GGWP to the Mod Squad. Thank you so much for coming out. And, uh, again, just shout out to the Mod Squad in general. You keep things going really well for the back end for us, and we do appreciate it on the front end. But with that said, that is the first match of the day. Again, we got another one coming up in about 30 minutes, so stay tuned for that. But with that said, you've been watching Champions of the Fog. This has been a great first match of the week and we got today tomorrow more to come new meta i am loving it thank you for joining me for this first match jukebox i'll be looking forward to seeing you in the second match here in a second right yep I will let's go with that said we'll be back very shortly folks stay tuned